If you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do it is on Instagram. If you just want to say what up, if you want to tell me you love my videos, if you want to tell me you hate my videos, if you want to tell me I don't know what I'm talking about, if you want to tell me you love my beard, you know where to do it. Where? Here. Instagram. <laughs> Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, T.I. is going to help out the mayor of Atlanta, and Juice World drops a new song called Run. Plus, Russ talks about the difference between mixtapes and albums. Let's talk hip hop. Yo, this is fire, right? Okay, so this is the type of stuff I like to see, right? So T.I. is not just always talking about, oh, we need to do this expeditiously and we need to do that and we need to boycott Gucci and, and fuck Floyd Mayweather and all that, right? He's actually like putting his money where his mouth is, right? And this is dope, right? Um, so apparently T.I. has been tasked by uh, Mayor Bottoms, Mayor Keisha Bottoms, who was a black woman and a mayor in Atlanta um, and she's like only 49 years old you know what I'm saying uh, basically a 25 man task force that's gonna help repurpose an old like jail right so it's an old detention center right and so T.I. is supposed to be one of the people that's gonna help out now I don't know if that means that he's gonna help out money wise by you know helping them do renovations and taking the cells out because they're supposed to be making it into like a community center for like the kids to go play basketball and to have like little baby showers and birthday parties and stuff like that which is dope right less prisons less jails more community centers that the kids can go to so they can stay out the streets uh maybe go on some field trips and shit like that especially right now that it's summertime right so it's dope right um so, you know, T.I. is going to help with that. And this is cool because T.I. actually has been helping out a lot in Atlanta, right? So last year, um, him and actually Killer Mike did something where they actually helped out to build another community center, um, you know, about a year and a half ago, like early 2018, right? Um, also, like back in April, uh, T.I. actually bailed out like 27 nonviolent offenders uh, around Easter time like a happy easter yo y'all getting out of jail and these are people that aren't uh convicted of anything they're just basically waiting trial uh maybe they had a little bit of weed or you know they got pulled over for a suspended license or whatever the case may be and their bail might be like 500 dollars, but niggas ain't got that kind of money so ti bailed out all those people um in, in good faith you know hopefully they actually are found not guilty and hopefully they actually you know can stay out of jail and shit like that right but this is cool right because ti a lot of times like through his music he's always talking about and it is it's okay to like plant that seed and to talk about you know making a change because whereas maybe you can't physically go out there and make the change if you have a kid or a person or a fan who's really listening to your music who actually wants to make a real change they will take your words and the seeds that you planted and make it like a real flower you know what i'm saying um but this is dope because ti not only is playing a seeds but he's making flowers too you know what i'm saying so let me know what y'all think about this in the comments down below all right yo so juice world just drops this new song like out of nowhere right called run right and the song is fire right so already right like juice world drops this shit on soundcloud it doesn't come out like officially it's not on like itunes there's no sales or anything for it but it has a million streams on youtube already and there's no fucking video like it's just a cover of the artwork and it says official audio right um the song starts out kind of slow but what's dope about it is that juice world used like a old xxx tentacion sample from like a song called angel right um and that song called angel it didn't even officially come out yet all right but juice world got the shit sampled it and the song kind of like it starts out slow but it's fire right it kind of got like that lo-fi vibe to it right like if you want to hear juice world singing over a lo-fi beat then listen to run right uh and anyway so once the beat drops though he's kind of like singing a little bit more up tempo right um and he's basically saying like yo it's more of the same like with juice world talking about just like what's going on in his life and in his mind and his thoughts right so we're saying like money uh is happiness well that's cap 
um, bitches are faithful. That's cat too, right? Um, so that's cool. But then he says, like, drugs are bad. He said, that's cap. I'll take me a Perkin and take me a nap type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so basically, he's, I mean, it's more, it's Juice World type shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, let me take this Perkin set. Fuck all y'all hoes. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but the song is dope. Y'all should definitely listen to it. Um, and shout out to Juice World, man. I don't know if a project is coming. Uh, he didn't say, yo, warning, I'm dropping a new song. He didn't say, this is going to have an XXX Tentacion sample. Uh, nothing, man. And I'm thinking that probably the reason why they dropped this and didn't sell it or dropped it without warning is maybe because they couldn't clear that sample. So it's not like they can make money off of it anyway. So they just said, fuck it. Let me just drop it for free. Um, but we'll see. And then hopefully Juice World makes a video for this and then dedicates that to Triple X. You know what I'm saying? Let, have ski masks in that shit or something. But let me know what y'all think about this in the comments down below. Alright, so Russ says rappers still dropping albums, then calling the mixtapes when they don't sell well, so they can drop another one and call that the album. Oh, y'all ain't peeped that yet? <laughs> Alright, so listen, right? I like Russ, right? A lot of people don't like Russ. They be talking about, you know, he be taking L's and all this shit like that. I like him, right? Um, but here, you know, he's basically letting us know something that we already know, right? So thank you, Captain Obvious, but we already know that rappers will put out a fucking whole project, right, to check the temperature, and then, yo, if niggas don't sell that much, then guess what? They'll say, oh yeah, that was just a mixtape, and then come out with something else, right? First of all, it's the record label, right, who they want to check the temperature to see what's going on, right? If they drop that project, because we, we, I mean, nowadays, niggas just call it a project, right? If they drop a project and it does good, oh, yeah, that was an album. If they drop a, a project and it does bad, oh, no, that wasn't an album, it was just a mixtape, right? So back in the day, you know, you knew what was an album and what was a mixtape because I go into like a record store like Beach Street or The Wiz or just any record store and I actually buy an album, a CD, right? The mixtape is coming from the African on the corner by the train station who's also selling weed and other things, right? So, and the mixtape was $5 while the album is $19.99, right? I can pay with an album with my credit card and my debit card, even though I didn't have no debit a credit card back then because I was a kid but you get the point but a mixtape you can only buy in cash right or you could probably pay a, a, a nick for it but you you get my point right so but nowadays since there's no like album mixtape CDs like who has a CD player it's easy for the record labels not the artists but the record label to sit there and be like oh that was a mixtape oh that was an album because it all comes out on the same platform right whether it's iTunes Spotify title whatever right um but I get it, right? So a lot of people don't like Russ and they be talking shit about Russ because he's stating, you know, the obvious and they're saying that he's basically a hater, right? Oh, Russ, why are you hating, right? Nobody's thinking about you. Nobody's talking about you. Nobody is saying, fuck Russ. Russ, you can stand in your lane, come out with your music, produce your own beats, and then you good. But you still gotta bring to the light about other rappers and talk shit about them. Why, 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 right? And then so recently in an interview um, with Ned the Stallion, who was being interviewed by Joe Button, actually, on his Pull Up podcast, basically, uh, Joe Button asked Meg the Stallion, why did you come out with an album so early on in your career, right? And Meg the Stallion replies with an answer and says that, oh, that, uh, uh, Project Fever wasn't an album, that was a mixtape. And so Joe Button asked her ass, well, what's the difference? And she says, oh, well, you know, I just wanted to put out a mixtape so I can give my fans a body of work so they can ride around and listen to, right? Oh, okay, even though on the mixtape was all original production and everything was written by her according to what she says, and she only had two features, that kind of seemed like an album to me. The rollout, the single coming out first, First, then the project dropping, but it only sold 29,000 copies in the first week, even though, you know, she had 30 million streams, when you bust that down to actual raw sales, it's about 30,000 copies the first week, then, you know, it doesn't look too good, so the record label says it's a mixtape, right? Um, which is crazy. I don't give a fuck what the record label says, whether it's a mixtape or an album, they can tell me it's a mixtape all they want, but they still lost money on the project, right? And that's the whole thing. That also might be the reason why she only had two features on the whole entire project, um, but 
you know, <laughs> I digress. Let me know what y'all think about this and everything else in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Follow me at Johnny Fastlane. That's J-O-N-N-Y Fastlane on Instagram. And y'all already know what to do. Peace.